Hi, I am John Taylor. I'm an Atlanta photographer, and this is Get Clicked. So as you know, I do this show really to uh, gain some insight on Atlanta photographers and just talk about their journey because so many uh, new photographers start out and get misled by what they see on social media mm -hmm. uh, or what their friends told them. So this is a chance to hear a little bit about everyone's path. So talk to me a little bit about how you got started in photography. Okay, my start in photography goes way back um, <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, I uh, started out, uh, I grew a passion for art ever since uh, kindergarten. Uh, my first uh, teacher um, back in the kindergarten, I remember that she, uh, she drew portraits of everyone in the class. Yeah. And that stuck in my head. So by the time I reached second grade, I said, you know, I had made up my mind, I want to be an artist. Mm -hmm. And so we were given a, an assignment, um, all the students where we were supposed to sit across from one another. And we were supposed to do portraits one another, but back then they taught us how to do stick figures, right, you know, you draw right. a circle and stuff like that. Well, I was a little defiant. So while everybody was drawing stick figures, I basically was drawing a portrait of my, my, my partner. And at that point, that's when my teacher, she, uh, Mrs. Tooling, she decided there's something about this kid that's special. So she kind of helped move me in that direction in, in art and also for music. So fast forward, uh, fast forward to my high school years, because I ended up going to an arts high school. Nice. Uh, we had to, I had to study fine art, commercial art, sculpture, right. and also photography. Well, my teacher did that was teaching photography, Ms. Levinston. Shout out to you, Ms. Levinston. Yeah, shout out Ms. Levinston. <laughs> I'm not even sure she's still living, but anyway, shout out Mrs. Levinston, you were the bomb. But anyway, um, uh, you know, when she was teaching this photography, the basics, there was no digital camera. Mm. So we had to learn everything on film. Yeah. Um, the interesting thing is, um, uh, you know, she taught us to use our eye. And not to focus on, you know, just taking a picture, but to capture a story. So, and the thing that helped us really capture the story was shooting in black and white. Yeah. What's the least favorite thing you like about this profession? <laughs> probably clients who don't have patience because <laughs> you know people think that because you're shooting with a digital camera you know oh I can get the you know I'm supposed to be able to get the pictures done right. and give it to them like right then and there I'm not you know a Polaroid systematic photographer you know um, you know because still it, it's still a process you have to go through the images you have to look at them to pick out which ones are good which ones are bad and you also have to take time and sometimes do editing so yeah. you know um, I just love being around other photographers. I love the camaraderie. You know, I love uh, a lot of the uh, photographers out there. You know, some there's some photographers that I, I follow out there on, on social media and stuff like that that I really like. Then I got some of the old greats that I really like. Like uh, uh, one of my favorites is uh, Felipe Haas. Yeah. He was a photographer. Well, you, you yeah. know who he is, right? So, so I was just going to ask you that. So these are people who influenced you. Mm -hmm. In one way, shape, or form? Mm -hmm. Okay. The well, reason why I like Felipe Haas is because he shot with Salvatore Dali. And they did some incredible pieces Just together. messing around. Just messing around. I was like, man, I, I, you know, at some point I want to be able to do that. You know, I, you know it's, I love those types of creations. You know, I like when somebody can just take a picture and, you know, and take, a, take, a, take an image and then turn it into something, turn it into a work of art. Here's my list, my, my, my top list. Felipe Halsman, Vivian Meyer, a lot of people don't even know who Vivian Meyer is. So just, let's, just, let's read just yourself. That, exactly. Yeah. Um, Gordon Parks, Ann Leibovitz, Richard Avedon, 
James Van Der Zee, Ron G Galela, that's the guy who shot uh, John, uh, what's his name, Kennedy. Jack Onassis Kennedy, he stalked her. He has so he has so many images of her. He stalked the living daylights out of this lady. But he got some great shots, some beautiful shots. And um, there's also uh, a local photographer here that I, I like, um, Dwayne Hathaway. But um, you know, uh, he he has a way of you know putting his imagination in images, and he has like this twisted imagination. And so it's like I've never seen anybody shoot like him that I knew personally. Right. So I, I love his work. Yeah. Here's a question every photographer hates that I ask, but I gotta ask it. So you on a shoot, you don't really have a lot of information, just gotta call up, we need you here. You can only bring one lens. What's your what's your go-to I can I can make this thing do what it do lens? 85 millimeter. Bang. Fixed lens every time because I can either back up or either I can get in close. 85 millimeter. There it is. Get you one. Get your 85. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, a, a lot of, uh, I, I put these out predominantly for new photographers to learn insight. What's one message that you would tell old John Taylor when he was starting out as a professional that you now know? Don't could, be, be, could be any aspect of photography. I would probably say don't be afraid to explore. You know, don't get caught up in one type of uh, photography, you know, I, that, that's what I would say. I mean, you know, because sometimes it's, I, I find myself uh, saying, oh, um, I can't do a shoot unless I'm in the studio. Right. So I started trying to push myself outside the studio and not just worry about shooting people. Sometimes you just want, might want to catch something on the street, you know, or, or uh, I got lucky uh, uh, one time and, and went downtown and I went on top of this parking deck at night and I got a great shot of uh, the, uh, the skyline, well, where the Ferris wheel is. Yep. I got a great shot from that. So I said, you know, just get out there and shoot. You know, when, especially when you look back at some of the, the greats, the great photographers, they didn't shoot just people, they shot everything. Sometimes they would just shoot um, somebody's a pair, pair of feet or something like that, you know? So that, that I would say, I would tell myself, don't be afraid to explore. Hey man, I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. Hey, let everybody know where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at J3Sons or Facebook at uh, John Taylor on Facebook. Or um, you can find me sometimes at Images First Studios. Where we are. Where we are. In the West View community. In the West View community, that's correct. All right, appreciate uh, all of your time, man. Appreciate the collective, collective tab and spot. They're about to do a shoot right now, so we got to get out the way. Yep, tell me you're busy. Uh, you I don't want you to have anyone and if you don't want me there's something wrong with them right maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone have I no you good I, I like the kind of you know we, he's at work because I'm gonna mention that also that that we are actually on the set right here yeah just, just tell him I'm your assistant you know? <laughs> <laughs> so this thing over here <laughs> Shut up, man. Have you met someone? Tell me now. I better start crying.